I'm going to do this one uh, problem that has uh, a parts a through f. So uh, first thing, um, I'm going to do it uh, the right way. So first thing I need to do is define my function. So I'm going to define f of x as it's given in the problem to be um, x squared minus 3x plus 1. And g of x is defined. And remember, you have a, uh, a key for uh, colon equals, which is control and then uh, this templates button, which takes you to colon equals. Um, and then you also have a key for a natural log, which is uh, control and then the e to the x key, and x plus 5. And so I have both of those. And what I'm going to do now is uh, insert a graph page, and I'll graph uh, f of x and I will graph, so I'm pressing tab to get that back, I'll graph g of x. I want to find the intersection points, so uh, menu, you go to points and lines to get both at one time. Uh, select the first curve and click, and then select the second curve and click, and then uh, press escape to get out of that. And what I want to do is save these, so I'm actually answering part A right now. Um, so what you do is you click on it once to get that rectangle, do control and var, and I'm going to type uh, xa, and then I'll do the same here, click, and control var, and xb. Okay, so now I have those points, and what I'm going to do is answer uh, part b, find the area. So. Add a calculator page and the area, that's a definite integral. And it's going to be from uh, xa to xb of, uh, in this case, g of x is the top curve. So g of x minus f of x and then dx. Um, get that and I would write it down. Now I will, uh, I'm actually going to insert a new calculator page to do part c. Um, so the volume, when it's uh, rotated around uh, y equals 3, so that's going to be pi. And then the integral, so we'll go to the template, from xa to xb. And then it's um, axis minus outer, so that's going to be 3 minus uh, f of x in this case, by looking at the picture, and then squared, and then minus... Uh, axis minus inner, which is 3 minus g of x, and then squared dx gives me that. Um, I want to see more of that, so I go up there and press enter, and I would write down that answer. Uh, make sure you put the pi in at the beginning um, and just get a decimal answer. You don't want to mix pi and decimals uh, in case you end up with some weird rounding issue as a result, um, so avoid that. Uh, add a new page for a new problem. Um, the region is the base of a solid whose cross sections are equilateral triangles. Okay, so I know the formula for that is uh, radical 3 over 4. So it's s squared radical 3 over 4, but um, we want the integral of the area of a cross section. So xa to xb. Um, and then the side, the s that we're referring to here, is going to be g of x minus f of x, or top takeaway bottom. And I need to square that, dx, and I get that. Um, the next part here is uh, the height. So uh, I'm going to insert a new one again. OK, so now we are, are just told uh, something. Can't really visualize it, but it doesn't matter. They tell us it's a rectangle. So xa to xb. Um, the height, again, is going to be g of x minus f of x, or rather that's the base, and then the height is this new given function, which I could define, but I'm running out of time, so I'm just going to type it, I'll write x, um, and then dx, and I get that for my area, and uh, part f is uh, something you need to set up but not evaluate, and uh, I think I will do that in a separate video, so... Um, I hope you uh, followed along with this and give it a shot on your own and see how you do.